Uncle Rockstar. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Freedom Footprint Show. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, my favorite uncle. Yeah, you have you have other uncles. Yeah, I do. Uh, Any yeah. of them in Bitcoin? No, no, they're they're shit old. Well, you know that I'm eighty, right? Under mm -hmm. this mask. Yeah, yeah. It depends on what, like what, what sort of planetary years you're counting in, but like. Yeah, I yeah. bet you're eighty in Mercury years. Uh. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> more, more than that. Uh, and, and actually this conference we're at, I mean, so far it's going great, right? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I'm, re I'm really enjoying it. And, uh, I had a moment where not only my age, but my race was assumed that like I'm Chinese under this mask. Oh yeah. Since yeah. I just perfected my R's and, yeah. you know, expressions. So yeah, you never know. Has anyone assumed your gender yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, I must say, I, sorry, ladies, but yeah, I, uh, I just need to join next women's brunch. I'm a woman. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Is the, oh, oh, brunch. That's like, is there even such a thing as a brunch? Isn't it just a late breakfast? I mean, really depends, Knut, on where you are on this planet. I mean, breakfast, it, it, it like to an artist like me, it like means breaking your fast after the night, like. So your first meal is the breakfast. So there is no second breakfast. Uh, yeah, you're right. And I didn't think about it that way, but I think it's just, again, like it, it depends where you are on this planet and people want to feel special wherever they are locally. So they invent these rituals and names and yeah, yeah, special and, meals. So yeah. And we have time zones. So like uh, a, a dinner in Europe would be a lunch in uh, the U S and it means it's always five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. It's always five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Well, what is an uncle? How do you define an uncle? Well, uncle is someone that's not necessarily like closely related to you. So it's not father or grandpa. But it's, it's someone in, you know, in the family, like, like a distant relative. Yeah. Especially like everyone needs a crazy uncle in their life, you know, to, because some things you really don't want to say to your closest family. And then if someone is too far away in your relationships, then it's not someone you're going to confide in. So uncle comes in perfectly. Uh, in there and especially uncles also like they have experience right they have wisdom they they've seen stuff they've been through stuff and uh, then you don't even know you know what are the things that you should experience in life so that's where uncle comes in guides you helps you gives advice you know gets you into trouble gets you out of the trouble and uh, the way it started for me uh, people can look this up on the internet is, uh, I ended up in Chicago, what is now like maybe a decade ago. And, uh, see, I, I, I get all alarms all the time. Ne yeah, yeah. Nephews and nieces call me. Yeah. Yeah. So I ended up in Chicago. I started going to local Bitcoin meetups and, uh, Jack Mallers and his family were the ones organizing them for yeah, quite a while. Mm -hmm. And that's where we really hit it off. And this is like 28, 2017, 2018, 2019. Yeah. Uh, it's already where a uh, rock star developer name is uh, gaining some traction like myself because of the work with Nicholas. And uh, then Jack started asking me for help. He's like, Hey, you know, can you look into this? I, curious about this. I know you have a startup experience because ever since I immigrated to us, I only done the tech startups. So <clears throat> I was helping him with a uh, zap wallet. If you remember. Yeah. 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 And, uh, it ended up, uh, once he wrote the blog post for, uh, uh, zap Android, that's where he referenced, he said, oh, you know, Bitcoin uh, communities like family uh, and who to call when um, Zap Android falls from sky. Of course, you know, Rockstar, they have a BTC pay server. He's like my Bitcoin uncle. 
uh, he helps me and yeah, it then started from there because especially considering the success we, we had with Strike, then I had other Bitcoiners approach and like, can you be my uncle? Can you? And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually just so you know, like it's closed. The program is closed. I have too many nephews and nieces. I, uh, All right. yeah, I'm not, I, I don't have enough time. I'm even getting complaints. You know, Desperate Sia, like Anastasia. Yeah. Yeah. So, so she even complained on Twitter recently, like that I suck as uncle. <laughs> so sorry. Like I, yeah, we fixed that. I did. What, but it's still okay to get an Uncle Rockstar poster and put it on your bedroom wall if you're a teenager and in need of an oh, uncle. Oh, absolutely. And then... Ah, that's that's good to hear. And, and if anyone does that and you take a picture, tag me on Twitter, I, I yeah, maybe not uncle, but I'll be like distant uncle. I definitely yeah, will yeah, help. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You get one with... Grand uncle, maybe. Uh, what? <laughs> Grunkle, if you Grunkle. will. <laughs> exactly. Okay, Grunkle. yeah, let's That's... do Grunkle. Okay, yeah. Grunkle yeah. Rockstar. Welcome to the Freedom for... I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was fortunate enough to see the, the premiere uh, of the uh, BTC Pay Server movie in, in Warsaw. Yeah. In that fantastic building that that nice guy Stalin gave to the city. Yeah, what uh, a guy. It, what right. a guy. Yeah. And the, like the, the, the building, it looks like something out of Gotham, Gotham City. Uh, ironically enough, it's sort of the most beautiful building in the in the entire city, yeah. even though it's but ugly. <laughs> yeah. But that was a great event, and the movie was absolutely fantastic. Um, so, uh, and you know, you don't have to uh, regurgitate the whole thing, but c can you tell us how you uh, how the, like B two C pay server happened? How how you met Nicholas, and uh, like his story and what what B2C pay server was a response to and like, because like the, the, the thing I really loved about the movie was the framing of the block size wars, because it's the, the first time I've heard it correct. That story told correctly. Uh, remember the, the sentence, it was never about block size. It was always about control. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I love that. that. So, yeah. yeah what, what's, what's your take? Yeah, I, I said in the documentary, it's like, it's, it wasn't about block size. It was about who tells who, what to do. Um, and actually that, that was the motivation, huge motivation for Parker Webworthy, uh, who is the creator of documentary and team member at BTC pay server in charge of, you know, uh, our media or socials, um, uh, is he wanted to give, um, like a video format uh, that goes along with um, what's what's exactly the name of of the book that uh, like block size uh, wars wars yeah. yeah like he wanted to give a video format so anyone that reads the book and wants like hey I want to know more uh, is there another resource is like hey there is a video there is a documentary and it really covers how. BTC pay server as a project started and hopefully like it's not only about us as a project and how Nicola started project, how I joined, how Polonex joined cooks, what the project and the work on it, like done for us, but it's more like, I really hope it inspires people. I think it does. I think it already does. And you could already see it in Warsaw. I mean. For those who don't know, like at the time during the block size wars, this there was this company called BitPay. Yes, and they had like they, there's a centralized unit that had sort sort of the entire payments market in in Bitcoin. Yeah, Nicholas was even encouraging everyone to use BitPay uh, before 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 BTC yeah, yeah. Pay. That's why he was so yeah. like uh, pissed off. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because he sent all the people to BitPay and yeah. then. BitPay was now taking all the people to Segwit2x. Yeah, the BitPay wanted the Segwit2x hard fork. Yeah. Which would have set a precedent for increasing the block size even more, uh, which means it's more and more expensive for new users to set up a node and to run a node. Which, and the costlier that is, the less decentralized Bitcoin is. And inevitably, at some point, Bitcoin doesn't work anymore because it's not decentralized and therefore not secure. It becomes a shitcoin if that is allowed to happen. But the users signaled that they wouldn't take this bullshit and we won. So 
but for me, that was the point in time where I was like, holy shit, Bitcoin actually works. It's like, I'm so like committed now because like, this is the greatest thing ever. And I have lived through this. It actually worked. And I managed to get a hold of my own keys and, and sell the shitcoin trash uh, as, as soon as possible. And all that, like, <laughs> you it, actually it, sold the top. I did, uh, or almost the top. Like, uh, I think I sold them for a, a fifth of a Bitcoin each. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, 20% it, it, percented my stack. Like, <laughs> I told my wife, darling, you need to shut up now for a couple of hours and leave me the fuck alone because I'm going to do a thing. It's, I'm not going to be able to explain it to you. Yeah. Yeah. And here I am, uh, you know, seven years down the line trying to explain it to other people. But anyway, no, or did, did you years. did you also sell like Bitcoin gold and Bitcoin diamond? Uh, I think the... I sold the Bitcoin gold, but uh, I didn't bother with the other forks because it was too little to like. And there was also like if you did it the wrong way and like a, a little later down the line, it could be tracked so that people knew that you were doing like well, well, it, it was what it was. Yeah, it was. It was really, yeah. It, it was really amazing times. You should have. You should have uh, held your. Bitcoin Cash or B Cash, as Carvalho was, because you could have got BSV, you know, the ultimate shitcoin. Yeah, imagine yeah, being yeah, a yeah. fork of yeah, B yeah. B Cash like that. But to me, it was like a a, a cross between a train robbery and uh, no, a, a train crash and a Christmas gift, like yeah. something in between. <laughs> no, I mean, I really hope we inspire people to like look up those times because it it was crazy times. Like, you just get imagine you get now something that increases your Bitcoin stack by twenty twenty percent. Like yeah, and someone is willing to sell you some obvious shit for the best thing ever, and it's Ooh. like, of course, I'm gonna sell the shit. <laughs> like it's it's cryptographic fecal matter. What? What can I do with it? So, uh, and I mean, uh, the the other thing that happened during that time is like, uh, I wrote an article about how to gain control of your own keys because I, I needed to tell my, teach myself how to do that because at the time that was not something that like uh, layman level Bitcoiners were even thinking about doing. Everyone was using custodial, either blockchain.info or Coinbase, right? Those were sort of the only wallets around. Yeah, blockchain.info. Hey, Mandrick, yes. <laughs> so so uh, I needed to um, teach myself how to do that. And then I wrote an article about that. And that's the first article that got sort of semi-viral of, of mine. So it got like 70,000 reads or something. And then I thought, oh, holy shit, maybe there's a value to, to like, yeah, me writing about this stuff. So it's yeah, like that's uh, see, that's that's one of the things that people don't get about big conflicts and chaos. Yeah, it it gives rise to new people, new characters, and uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, about you. Um, <laughs> I'm actually now that. Yeah, thank you, Roger Veer. Uh, yeah, thank you, yeah, Roger. Yeah, for for getting us Knut. So <laughs> so uh, no. No, that's that's really great because even kind of conflicts that we now have in Bitcoin will 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 produce someone who's like, okay, you know, like fuck this, I'm gonna do yeah something else, and they're gonna produce beautiful you know, outcomes and results. Yeah, and to continue the story about uh, BTC Pay, course, yeah, yeah. So Nicholas Dorier, the founder of BTC Pay Server didn't take this. It's like, no, I reject your proposition. And oh, yeah, well, because, what's, what's the tweet, the uh, famous one? Yeah, the, so yeah. they published a blog post saying uh, merchants upgrade to Bitcoin uh, and uh, didn't mention Segway2x or anything there. Uh, and it is it's an upgrade of Bitcoin. And Nicholas responded to their tweet linking to blog post with, this is lies, my trust in you is broken. I will make you obsolete. Yes, and they did. <laughs> yeah, but as they say in the documentary, and documentary is on YouTube. If you search yeah. BTC Pay documentary, you will find it. Yeah, my, my trust in you is broken. That's the yes, name of it, right? Yeah. It's exactly Parker took that uh, that that start of the tweet, and it's such a powerful tweet. Uh, but most of the people at the time were telling like they were like, like, "This guy is crazy." Like, 
BitPay just raised sixty million dollars. Yeah, like, they got money from Bitmain as well. They got money from all the you know big entities and funds. They're like, how will single developer obsolete them? It doesn't make any sense. But no, but it's it's sort of like the same message as Bitcoin itself. Like, uh, I, I, <laughs> uh, my trust in you is broken. Is what Bitcoin is saying to central banking. Like, uh, and we're t okay. I'm gonna fight like the biggest power in the in, in the entire world, and I'm gonna win. And that's what Bitcoin is doing, and has been doing all along. So it's it is literally echoing the ethos of the idea itself. Yeah, and it it is so exciting to be part of this yeah band of misfits in Bitcoin. Yeah. Because if you look at the history, history is just a constant flow of human individual freedom increasing through yeah. technology because it's it what, what what could have someone done in you know 1971 when nixon just decided like oh can't redeem gold like there is no technology for you to to fight that no but as we now see through bitcoin through what you say btc pay server through other tools that are being built is like you as individual, if you embrace those tools, if you use those tools, you can really get to the point where you are a sovereign individual. Uh, and that's that, that more also goes into the creed and history of cypherpunks because yeah, they, they especially really saw well how this digital society and information madness will, will just increase. And then you as an individual will need to have technology and tools to defend your freedom. Because, yeah, you, you'll just, as, as inf information madness increases, you'll just have more and more crazy individuals like around you. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, where the crazy ones, the misfits, the blah, 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 the, the Steve Jobs speak, speech comes to mind. But I think you guys... Uh, like it's underappreciated what what a mark you made on history because you set a, a, a such a good example for other companies to follow. So where where there was once local bitcoins, there is now you know Hoddle Hoddle and Bit, uh, Bisk and Peach and Vexel and Vexel. stuff like that. Yeah, there's like just non growing new stuff coming. Uh, where there was once uh, social me uh, media conglomerate big thing is there is now Noster like and I think all of those projects are are inspired by how by your guys move and uh, like how that actually worked yeah and it's just fantastic to see yeah so, and, uh, it's it's rock star stuff hey thank you yeah. uh, I'm, I'm just a small part of it but yeah it is that uh, free and open source software creed and uh, yeah, you wear a Start9 t-shirt. Yeah, my good friend that's Daniel. another thing. Yeah, yeah, it's you can download that OS and flash any device with it, but that's that's what really... Highly recommended. Highly recommended because that's the future that, that I see um, like a good future because us cypherpunks, it's all about ensuring that we do not end in a cyberpunk. Yeah. The cyberpunk is high technology, uh, low quality of living for most of the population. So there yeah. is not even like 1%, but 0.01% of ultra rich who now have access to all the resources through technology, like through automation, through like, hey, I'm the one controlling the AI that controls the whole planet. Um, yeah, and everyone else is like, "Hey, I I want to live well. What can I trade you in in return of you? Like not like you even like giving me something is like, well, you can't offer me nothing. You're just your piece of meat." And yeah, so uh, we don't want that. We no. want to. Well, you can be voting cattle, <laughs> sacrificed <laughs> on the altar of democracy. That's what you can be to them. Yeah, yeah. like. Well, yeah, be like a part of the ritual, so yeah, yeah, like and sacrificial if, ritual. Like if you're live on, in a pod, if you're on employed in the public sector, or if you're on social security or so some so support mechanism somehow, UBI, yeah, the, uh, UBI, which is not universal, not basic, and not even income. 
uh, like the Federal Reserve is not federal, <laughs> not so, the yeah. reserve and not a bank. Uh, this, uh, you are very unlikely to vote against the hand that feeds you, and that's what feeds the machine. Yeah, so, you become NPC army. Like yeah, yeah. That, yeah. And uh, well, now there's a way to not participate. And like we were talking to Alex Svetsky about Satlantis yesterday, which is a great another tool that we we see this like. I actually like that he's building it for his, himself. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and it's that's it's, always good. It's uh, like a way of building layers of like <laughs> decentralized nation states on top of whatever the legacy system thinks is real. Yeah. You, you can like, we can organize ourselves. We can, we can, we can truly, uh, it's truly fuck you money and it's truly fuck you technology where we can do other things than that normies can't. Yeah. That's, that's where I started like this conversation before I went full cypherpunk. Uh, but yeah, I would start nine and BTC pay server yeah. and Bitcoin. Like you as an individual, you take all these technologies and you make your freedom stack yeah. and you're in, in charge. And I really see for um, a lot of individuals, maybe this will not be feasible, but uh, it, it's kind of like cycle of life, a uh, circle where we may get to the point where you, you, you have an individual in your community that it takes care of the stack. Like it's maybe, you know, part, someone part of your family or it's a crazy uncle, Jim. uncle, uncle Jim. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I, uh, uh, uncle Ben, there are many Ben's in Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. So Ben, a lot maybe. of Luke's as well. Uh, yeah, uncle, Luke. uncle Luke, uncle Luke, oh. uncle Luke, uncle Luke, uncle Luke, uncle Luke, uncle Luke, uncle Luke, uncle Luke. Yeah, well, Knut will be in charge of singing. Yeah, especially yes. tonight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the Rockamoto yeah. flyer. Yes, we're doing Rockamoto tonight. Maz will Wish love me this luck. part. Yeah, no, 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 you don't need luck. I <laughs> well, come, come to the next Satoshi Rockamoto in Rigo or Prague next year or wherever the fuck it is next. Yeah, yeah Nashville yeah. maybe. Nashville, yeah, 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 yeah. Riga, baby. yeah. But to finish what I was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're too, you're too excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm too excited. Like, I'm a rock star. Right? <laughs> The, what what I was going to say is if we can go in that direction and you even just have one individual who can do that, that's how you can create really like pockets of freedom, like a little tribes where, you know, like you live in an environment where you, you don't need phones or you don't need uh, to constantly be like worrying about what will come from the outside and it, like attack you, but rather it's like a little oasis. And I think we're going to create them through this freedom technology because for a lot of individuals, like you can already create it as individual, but it's, it's kind of boring, right? Being just by yourself. And then where I think government gets most even like digital nomads is family. Is like once you do get kids, like you're anchored to the school, to yeah. the lo local community and that's where they get you and tax you and yeah. and that's where they drag you into local like stupid politics of oh we got to change your school rules so your kids need to yeah do this do that or yeah you can't do it. or you need to ask us for permission that's a crazy thing i've heard at this conference uh, in germany like you need to ask for permission for your kid to not be in school for a certain amount of time. Like, so if you want to take them to the conference, you need to ask for permission. Yeah, yeah. Same, same across Europe. Like, I think both in Sweden I mean, and Spain, where, where terrible, I've been, it's yeah. it's a week per uh, per semester. Like, you you can take a week off per semester without asking for permission, but anything above that, you need a like a written thing. And I know uh, a sweet. I just heard like last month about a Swedish couple that has been taking their kids to Thailand for a month per year, every year since like five years back. And now the school said, no, you can't. And they said like, well, yeah, what are you going to do about it? And they went and when they came back, they got a $6,000 fine for, for taking the kid to Thailand. And I bet you that kid learned more by doing that than by staying bad, bad, bad in the 
whatever. Yeah. yeah. What did they learn in Thailand exactly? Uh, no, no. Oh, listen. yeah, no, no. Well, I, I'm sure I'm, the story had a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, and and uh, yeah, kids involved in this joke. Luthier, you're the best. I'll I'll go. I'll, I'll stop laughing. Number yes. one. Number two is yeah, very mature Bitcoiners. Number two, like it doesn't even matter. That's the thing. Is like that's how far they they got people like and and programmed us. Is like, hey, like why are you going to Thailand? It's like hey. Why the fuck should I tell to you? Yeah. Like, who, who are you? Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's your kid. It's not their kid. And this is the part of information madness as well, yeah. because, uh, I mean, you have a lot of like individuals that are lonely, that are lost, and they end up being in like positions of teachers or education of kids. And they're like, oh, we had this madness in the u.s someone may find like i think even joe biden it was in the video saying like to educators like oh it's your kids like no man it's it's not your kids it's like man. kids of the family like it's not state kids it's not educator kids no, like no. Sh they have a job their job is to educate kids but there is a certain boundary yeah and like like stop with the nonsense so I, I remember th that was one of my favorite parts of of like w when the um, uh Richard Dawkins book the the god delusion there's a there's a section in that uh where he claims that there's no such thing as a jewish child or a christian child a muslim child because all of these things are ideas sets of ideas that are put into the child as the child grows up but i would take it <laughs> all the steps down the line. There's no such thing as an American child, a, a Russian child, or like the, the, the child uh, doesn't get the software or the, the firmware until it's fucking installed in the child. Like yeah. we, we tell them that this is the way the world works. And uh, that we, we need to admit to ourselves that that, is, that are all layers on top. It has nothing to do with reality. So question for you. Yeah. Why do these delusions exist? Uh, because of the urge for there to be a free lunch. I think that is the root cause of all human problems. People want there to be an easy solution to, uh, to all the problems. Uh, and they want there to be a free lunch, w which means they want, they, they, they want someone to tell them no problem, I'm going to fix this because I'm good and uh, all the other people are bad. And that's how the uh, narcissistic psychopaths get, in, get into positions of power, by fooling people that there's a free lunch. But there is no free lunch. There is no second breakfast. There is, there is hard work and proof of results. And that's all that matters. That's, okay. that's my two sets. Let, let me approach it uh, from my perspective of, like, that exists, like, I don't know if I should call it the delusion, but maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, the yeah. sake of this conversation, like, let's yeah. call it the delusion. Uh, I think it exists because it's a very useful crutch, you know, it's, it's a, it's a thing that helps you on, on, on your way and in your life, because, um, uh, imagine like you're a kid yeah. blessed with, uh, experience and wisdom of Knut and you're growing up in uh, Russia and you're like being programmed and you're like, oh fuck, I, I know I'm being programmed. Yeah. I don't want to be programmed. It's like, no. so, so you start this struggle and this battle, but what can you really do? Uh, and I see it as a, it's very useful to be part of the group. And then as you're part of the group, uh, you're using this knowledge, like this imperfect knowledge on your journey to perfection, because that's what I think it comes for every individual. Like th this whole life, this experience is like you get this block of time and uh, you're trying to get to know the truth. Yeah. You, you have to get out of the, the group mentality. Exactly. You, you, have to, you have to get past it in order to become... A self-actualized individual yeah. basically and in order to appreciate if because ideas are like there's value in most of them like the 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 these things these groupings i mean there there are 
good like they things exist for in a all reason. of us. They exist yeah. for a reason. Yeah. It's just the, the, the thing people need to understand is that psychopaths use these narratives to fucking control people. Yeah, and, and that's the that's the mindset well, you need to get out of. Well, at, at the cypherpunk meeting, like I, uh, well, not cypherpunk meeting, cypherpunk panel. We had so many cypherpunk events here. You should like look them up. Um, I said that I actually in the last few years, Knut, you will love this. I I grew to appreciate politics. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I like politics <laughs> because what would we do with all the psychopaths? Like we. They would be organizing gangs. They, they were like extorting. That's people. what they are doing. Yeah, but 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 they get this like nice format of every like four years like election. So they need to like dress up and and be like, "Hey, everyone, I really care about you." Like they need they need to be nice. And then when you record them off camera, like they're terrible people. Like oh, yeah, but but they they it's it's a nice format. So. And then they get to fight each other. It's like modern gladiator. Yeah, fights. Yeah, yeah. The only, like, I love it. The only problem is, the only problem is they also control money printer. So imagine, yeah, once Bitcoin defunds them, they, they will yeah. still, like, they will continue running these yeah. elections. They stuff. will still have entertainment value. Yeah, right but, the, yeah, they they will not have access to money printer. I do feel for people that will not be on Bitcoin standard. Yeah. Because fiat currencies, they're not going away. These politicians will continue increasing government programs and like, oh, during my election, I have promised I'm going to do this. Now I'm doing this. It's like... Yeah, and, and as long as people fall for it, they are going to continue. That's like... And people keep falling for it. Like, this is the euro, that... it's money. This is the dollar, it's money. It's not. It's It's fake. Like, it's yeah. not doing its job as money. It's it's only good for medium of exchange over space and not medium of exchange over time. Because so it's flawed. Well, it's, uh, yeah. Well, I think Knut also you're a perfectionist. You will be like, uh, yeah, you 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 are focusing. It's never black or white. It's a, it's it's a it's a it's a scale. Yeah. And I I see like U.S. dollars. They are listen. They're very useful. Because uh, when I when I give, let's go, when I give this piece of paper, people like they're like happy. I yeah. give them, I give them this piece of paper. They're like, oh, this is fake. What Even a... though that says twenty one and this only says one. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this I would one much rather my... have one of these. Yeah. Well, uh, how about how about you Beautiful. have one of these that you have stamped because. These are my no, business this is card. Inferior quality, for sure. Yeah, there's some old guy no, here. No, listen. Let's it's... make let's make it into uh... it's a pyramid here. Yeah. What does it say? What does that mean? The the eye on the top is supposedly means something. Let's not get into that today. No, no, no. We it need... says Ooh. it doesn't say in God we verify. It says in God we trust for some reason. And this is what we do now, Knut. Yeah. Put it here, and we oh. say, we say, see, like in. Yeah. Buy Bitcoin, we trust. Put stamps on dollars. Don't put them on Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> see? Don't do it the other way around. And then, That's just mean. <laughs> then you can do it. Well, there we go. Yeah. Here we go, Luke. You want to you wanna try? Yeah. You want one of your own? Here, stamp away. This is fantastic. Well... For those of you listening to the show, we are right now putting stamps on U.S. dollars. Yes. Promise. Sure. Yeah. We're making or ordinals. We're printing. <laughs> we're printing money. Yeah. There you go. So, it, it's it's useful. It's a tool that's lo that's losing its usefulness as more and more people realize what they're doing to us. And it, as I said, it's a cycle. Of life, like the same thing happened in Roman Empire. Like it yeah, was, yeah. it was yeah, hundred percent gold. Yeah. yeah, but then it's like ninety percent, eighty, and you just want to recognize when you're being played, so you can exit, exit the the scam, and enter into yeah new, you know, 
new new paradigm, new yeah. like something that's growing, not something that's dying. If if you own the house and someone wrote a paper saying I own the house now, you wouldn't fall for it. But that is exactly what this is saying. That they, these bills are claims on your stuff that someone is conjuring out of thin air. And they can exchange it for the stuff you have, even though they just made it up. No, uh, listen, I, on behalf of all of us living in uh, the United States of America, like, sorry guys, I, <laughs> um, the biggest export of US is inflation. Like well, it, every time like we decide there in the US to be like, oh, listen, we need, we need, we really need this government program. Like we need to increase defense spending because America is so threatened militarily by the rest of the world. So sorry, Knut, like we, we just need to ensure. No, 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 I know it's, attack us. it's, it's not salad. Yeah. That's for sure. It's not salad. So, uh. so then we print a bunch of these and, uh. Someone that's holding U.S. dollars like outside of U.S. suddenly they have five percent less, like or ten percent in real value. Like there, there is some grand poor grandma that was like saving in local currency, then switched to, you know, U.S. dollars. Oh, sorry, grandma, like you're part of the, like this theft that's happening, and nothing you can do. Like it, it's not nothing against you, but nothing you can do. Like thankfully, grandma can now switch to Bitcoin and there is no one that can do that. So hopefully we get as many people on Bitcoin standard as possible. In Scandinavia, where I grew up, there's a, uh, like the, there's a tendency of the people to view Americans as evil capitalists, uh, and the capitalism is the root cause of all these problems. Oh uh, yeah. And so, so during the Trump era. Uh, or the previous Trump era, the, the the narrative was that he was like the most evil capitalist, and the, like the 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 epiphany of like the Uncle Scrooge character, like the, uh, the like the, the another peak. uncle, another, yeah, yeah, another uncle. No, no, let's uh, uh, listen. But, that's the real UN Uncle Network. Like, uh, yeah, that would be D U N D U N. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so when Trump gave out a thousand dollars to each and every American citizen during oh yeah sorry during, about that guys uh, yeah yeah during COVID uh, or Novid they they didn't uh, no one understood that what he was actually doing was pickpocketing everyone else on Earth who yeah. wasn't American because he conjures them out of uh, thin air and doll, uh, oil is priced in them so like he's stealing everyone else's oil to pay for your hamburgers like and you, you can't have i mean we really no, needed it yeah it's not really hamburgers it's nothing burgers and you can't have a nothing burger without yeah. work salad like so uh, you, you want to know all... the best part of it like warren buffett also got those checks warren buffet the warren buffet because he he does the whole thing with like not um having a salary that's like nominal like hundred thousand a year and then reports income and it was like under threshold for those COVID checks. And there were multiple of them. So, so I, I tried to find the funny side in it. <laughs> like how, how broken the system is. That's because it, once you start thinking about it and rationalizing, you're, you're like, you can really get upset how irrational everything is and broken. Or you're like, like this is so retarded that like, <laughs> it's kind of like those, those, protests that happened in the uh, US and it's like a fiery but mostly peaceful protest. Yeah. Like everyone watching that video like you know like okay this is wrong e even if I'm supporting the cause but I I always I always when situations that crazy I try to un unwind. I go to like what is the demon behind because they when it gets to that point, something is so broken that we need to go layers deeper to find the real cause. And uh, yeah, what's your, what you're describing, just the ability of U.S. to print money and fund uh, these failing programs, uh, send uh, money overseas for completely like crazy causes, 
There is a joke in U.S. Yeah, that you, you, U.S. government is taxing the poor in U.S. to give to the rich outside of U.S. with all the like Saudis and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. like the pro. But they're also taxing the poor everyone everywhere else by doing inflation. Oh, like so they're taxing everyone. Yeah, but it's not yeah. intentional. So no, no, it's, it's, like, yeah, like it is. Well, uh, what it what it definitely isn't is capitalism. Oh, it's socialism. Uh, like at best, it's communism. I would say. Like it's a planned, centrally planned economy. That's what it is. Okay, hey, uh, those Based people, those people are just—they never grew out of phase. And and I actually like I I've I I have a lot of compassion for socialists and uh, and people that that continue to believe in those delusions <laughs> because uh, there is a great saying like that um, you know if if you are. Um, especially in some kind of university, like we're talking to you students, like younger people, this is uncle talk now. Like if you do not become like a socialist or even communist while you're at the university, you don't have heart, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but if you do not, like by the time you're 30, you don't get out of that delusion, like you don't have head. <laughs> you're not rationally thinking because again, I would argue that money is one of the best tools humanity has invented. Because like, like not money, the best. yes, because it allows pursuit of truth when used correctly. Like you, you have people like, hey, will you do this for me? They're like, no. Okay, will you do this for me if I give you hundred thousand dollars? They're like, well, yes, and. Money, when used properly, allows you to uncover crazy truths. And I won't go into details. This is like uncle talk, private talk. <laughs> but um, the problem is that money that we have now, like this technology, this is where we should like take it off the table, like this fiat nonsense, fake money. And we go to new form of money, like yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah, that's, we're going to talk more about that, but that's for me, like when people are like, oh, capitalism is corrupt, uh, money is corrupt. Is like, no, it's not corrupt. It's too efficient. There is scary part of like where very well run capitalist organization that produces phenomenal product, prices it, like aggressive, like perfectly, and then takes value from people and then just takes. So I don't know. I, I would compare it even to like drug dealers. Like that, that, that's, that's the scary part that I think repels a lot of people that are like good hearted. They're like, why, you know, can't we have a uh, common this and that? But I would argue for those people that they should go more, like not waste time attacking capitalism from their iPhones and, and all of that. Yeah, yeah. But go towards commons, go towards nonprofit organizations, like even come to open source. Yeah. You know, like and, and find community there because you you you're then you're not focused on money. You don't care if you will earn, you know, ten thousand, hundred thousand, a million dollars a year. You care about your reputation, about sense of doing good. So do that. Don't waste time like attacking capitalism or being like, money is evil. We're going to live in communities where we're going to barter and trade fa like favors. In your opinion, is reputation a currency in itself? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm not on this show because of amount of money that I have or don't have um, on this show because of my reputation. So, yeah, it's 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 another form of currency, and it's much better currency. Uh, Is but... it the current the real currency of the future? Is that like because I think that the Bitcoin and reputation go hand in hand because it's a base layer of truth. So over time. Uh, untruthful people, bad people will be weeded out because of their reputation getting destroyed. I mean, you can sell your soul, but you can only do it once. You can't get it back. Yeah, There's no refund policy. Are, are we becoming communists now, Knut? So we'll have a central bureau of reputation? Or... No, 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 no. Not at all. <laughs> no, no, no. 
I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. By the way, but yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. Well, yeah. it's it's kind of it's kind of especially if you're on Bitcoin standard. Are yeah. you communist? Well, what do you mean standard? That's a <laughs> common expression. <laughs> standard. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Luke. Why did the chicken brush his teeth? Why, Knut? Do chickens even have teeth? To get to the bit box on the other side of the road. What a fantastic idea. The Bitbox is our favorite hardware wallet for a lot of reasons. It's easy to use, apparently also for chickens. Bitbox cares about your security and your privacy. They take measures to make sure they're not collecting more information about you than they need to. And they also have fantastic customer support. They get rave reviews. So if you have any issues with your Bitbox or you don't know how to use it for some reason, then they can help you out and take care of you. So go to bitbox.swiss freedom or use code freedom for 5% off your Bitbox right now. Hey, Luke, what's the difference between a chickpea and a Bitcoin advisor? What, Knut? I never had a Bitcoin advisor on my face. But you could have one in your face because we're Bitcoin advisors. That's right, Knut. We're working with the Bitcoin advisor and we are all about securing your Bitcoin for the long term. The Bitcoin advisor has a collaborative multi-sig solution so that you can secure your Bitcoin for the next 20 years and beyond. Even if you lose one of your keys or something happens where it's an inheritance situation, they've got you covered and we can help you get there. So go to thebitcoinadvisor.com for more information, or you can reach out to us and book a call so that we can explain everything to you ourselves. Doesn't that sound awesome? Sounds absolutely spectacular. It's basically boating accident insurance, isn't it? Exactly. Although, you know, boating accidents, well. Yeah, yeah, we could, yeah, yeah you, could, you could have boating accidents anyway. Like, I mean. Whatever. Go to thebitcoinadvisor.com today. Do the things. All right, Luke, let's talk about Riga. Why people should go to Riga this specific year. There is so much here. I mean, Riga Bitcoin Week this year is absolutely fantastic. It starts off with Noob Day and following Noob Day, our own Infinity Day party at the basement bar, which is just spectacular. I, and there's a rumor going around that it'll be some free drinks or, or, or something. So that's just great. And after that, it's the Freedom Unconference, which is a Noster themed freedom couple of days before the actual Riga conference, Baltic Hunting Badger conference starts. And after that, of course, it's BTC Pay Server Day. And there are karaoke nights and official parties and whatnot. So come celebrate Infinity Day and the launch of the Inverse of Clown World, our new book in Riga this year. Of course, 21st of August, use code FREEDOM for 10% off your Riga ticket. Don't miss this. Couldn't have said it better myself. I have nothing to add. The, you, don't need to, you don't need to add. This was the ad. Oh, okay. Back to the show. But, but this is a segue to Noster. The, the actual decentralized the segue? reputation. You mean like a segue? You're an idiot. The actual... The actual the segwits? The, yes. <laughs> Yes, the actual the actual reputation, uh, distributed reputation, is the social graph on Noster, right? This yes, is what, this yeah. is what we're learning. Yes. We've been Noster deep diving a lot here. In We've this, been hyper Nosterified, yeah. absolutely. So, so you you gave a, a talk um, in the VIP lounge yesterday, the Noster something or other. I, I wasn't paying attention, but yeah, I don't know. We gave a talk. I was. Like, let, let me do it for you. Like the title was, uh, do Noster apps need to be profitable? And yeah, good question. for our listeners, I can TLDR the whole talk. Is it? No, Jack Dorsey is giving like the, all, all the money now, but they don't need to be profitable now in the future. Yes. I would say that they are profitable, that all acts are profitable to the, like, like the, the, every <laughs> entrepreneurial venture is, uh, has the goal of profit, but it depends yes. on how you define profit because most people define it as something solely monetary, but it isn't. Profit can be, you know, good for your soul. That's profit. Like, uh, you, you, I... Knut, you're just, I, I, I'm going to label you now. Okay. You're, you're like perfection ex extremist. Yes. Perfection extremist? Uh, yeah. Perfection fundamentalist. I bet you my wife would disagree with that. Oh, she would? Yeah. I think that's because you probably like have set up your family like environment perfectly, so that no, it, it, no, no, it, it I aligns with not, you. Yeah, I've seen his house. He, he's not perfect. He's not. Oh my god. 
No, listen. I you would were say like, you're the perfectionist. Oh, you have the perfect outfit. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like all of you listening. This, this is perfect. Is, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, everyone listening, like you should, yeah, tune up uh, and switch to the video. I don't think anyone is listening any longer. Like I think they all. Oh, all, they, oh no, no. They all. They all stopped. Um, I Listen think, to my core, think, Mike, instead. Uh, yeah. yeah. They are, this, they're listening from the point where you also jumped in. It's like a perfect segue because we created such a great point from which we can go in all the different direction in the conversation. So, yeah, pe people are definitely listening. But I'm going to, I was going to tell if you're listening audio version, you need to switch to video version because obviously my perfection right like that yeah but it, it wasn't the perfection it will be it will be now when i uh oh yes you got right? the real deal here yes. yeah yeah here we so, go i put on what is this you can describe it yeah, with your yes, sexy voice uh, rockstar is just pulling out a giant green dildo out of his pocket and no, you need to switch the video version. I mean, yeah, did, okay did I say, and, and what I are you that, not a dildo no. and what am i doing <laughs> You're you're right now. That well, why I can't say this. Okay, he's attaching a pin to his jacket. What does the pin say? Very. Oh, it's, it's a symbolic representation of the meme. Everything divided by twenty-one million. Uh, yes, it's an uh, homage to Bitcoin's infinite potential. Bills. And, and I'm getting some sort of military equipment here. So th there is an orange dildo that I'm taking out. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm, uh, we need a kids, I'm, kids I'm disclaimer kid. for the yes, I'm rated R. Yeah. Wait, all, our entire show has a kids I'm, disclaimer on it. It does? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I do not check yeah. the box on YouTube yeah. that says made for kids. Okay, do not good. try this at home. And I'm no. giving the dildo to Knut. Oh, fantastic. He's, he's putting it on, like putting Around it Around his in. neck. Yeah, and... Yes. And now he's oh. putting it. Oh, okay. Now yes. it's oh. here in between oh. my tits. Oh. oh, okay. Fantastic. Oh. I, I think people will switch the video version just to see, like, okay, what the hell was going on? Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Let, let, yeah. Let's now segue to. Uh, a perfect witty segue. Would that be a segue? Uh, like short for. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I, so I, we're... I think that is it. We already like dismantled communism. Hopefully, switch some of the kids, save them. Yeah, years of their life. Yeah. So and now Noster. Yes, and brush your teeth, kids. What, wait. Okay, it's Let's, important. Where, where did that come from? Is that no? It's, yeah, we we urge people to brush their teeth. We're we're oh, it's concerned. A show thing. We're concerned with dental hygiene in general. Or yeah, you can you can wear a mask. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have a toothbrush. You can it, always... it, it protects you from COVID and then also like bad breath. Yeah. 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 What, what is, okay. Noster and B2C pay server. What is the, what is the magic intersection point there? Like what, what, what's going on with Noster and B2C pay server? You, like... you might also have to explain what is a B2C pay server. I don't think we actually got there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, everyone knows, but it fil uh, masks filter water as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, the, so the water can get through, but the COVID can't. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, if, there, if there is a COVID in water, like it also like filters. I, I, I think... mean, you, you guys will, will joke about it, but uh, during COVID hysteria, like I, I use this on like airplane flights. They were like, sir, like pull up your mask. Fantastic. So, so now I, I, I don't know, man, like, um, before we get back to BTC pay server, I, I love these philosophical questions because what I was saying, like go through all the layers is just technology is, is advancing so quickly. Um, number of people on this planet increases, like viruses are evolving. Like you as individual, like you're living in increasingly hostile environment. People are grasping for straws. Paper you know, straws. Paper straws. Like like any kind of straws, any kind of, uh, uh, you know, crutch. 
that we yeah. are talking to. Yeah, yeah. Because if you are individual on a Bitcoin standard, if, if you have followed Knut's advice, when I retweet that tweet of yours like so many times, like can you can you say it like what the life pro tip of Knut? What what should you do? Uh, yeah, my my response to Jordan Peterson here is like one rule for life. Yeah, it's in capital letters. It says enjoy exclamation mark. Enjoy. Yeah, that's it. No, it's not about buy Bitcoin, and uh, that's the one that I reference. How you said, just. No, I'm I'm gonna take this over, <laughs> Knut. It's not enjoy. See, he he's too focused on perfection. His best advice, life pro tip was, take years worth of salary. Well, you said a month, but I think it's really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a year's worth of your uh, income. I said a month. I think yeah. Yeah, but it should be a year, really, and then buy Bitcoin, and don't touch it for ten years. Ten years. Buy it, no KYC. Yeah, yeah, ideally, because that's the only Bitcoin. KYC Bitcoin is is not. It's like nope. it, it will be. Hopefully, it, it it becomes a fork, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like vaxxed sperm. Yeah. Now everyone will listen to this <laughs> advice, but don't touch it in ten years, and then after ten years, you get you're free to do whatever. Yeah, because. For those people, for like that flight attendant, she's under more pressure. You say, hey, I have this directive. Like, I want to keep my job. I want to do the right thing. I have my fears. I have, you know, my hopes. And it's just, as I say, those layers, you need to deconstruct them and see that like system is broken. System is putting us against each other in terrible situations in which we shouldn't be let's let's remake the system let's figure it out like and really solve the problem rather than antagonize each other and uh, worry about vax sperm or Krut, what what are we going to do there i think that's really the, the question for this podcast like like uh, should we get back to range marriages where parents check if like bum bum check bum bum check Sorry, okay, anyone involved yeah, like, in that? Okay. I couldn't resist. Yeah, yeah. Is that? Oh, that must be. Uh, did the homeless people receive a, a COVID check in 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 US? Yes. I and mean, if it, so, it, was it was it a a bump? Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry, yeah, I yeah, give yeah. up. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'll just get. Yeah. I'll, I'll just. Sorry, Rob. We had to go there. I'll, yeah, at I'll some just, point. Yeah. I'll just get my COVID free water and uh, yeah. All right, where were we? Like, was there a question we were, in the we for were, me? We were or starting like, uh, for the Noster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to ask you questions, not the other way around. Yeah, so. Be... Well, you have, we have Bitcoin Uncle here, so yeah. I'm a source of wisdom, and uh, yeah, like I can ask questions, and I did. Ask you're you're a source of wisdom and uncleness, yeah, and dollars. Yeah. And yeah, yes. the UN, the real UN, Uncle Network. Uncle Network, yes. U UNN is that a is that a TV station like Uncle 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 Network Networks? No, it's Uncle News Network. Uncle News Network, yes, so yes. That will be yeah, the the United Nations, the the Uncle Network Network. Yeah, yeah, that will be our CNN. Yeah, yeah UNN. U UNN. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we gotta get Don Lemon. Well, yeah, like get him to interview all the people because he's so great at it is he an uncle i mean he's a retard <laughs> like, yeah that is so, almost yeah. uh, a compliment these days uh, i mean no man that that guy you just you just think about all the evil he has yeah spawned and created where who's I, that don lemon Don Lemon? Yeah. Is he a limey? The limey. Uh, it's no, it, it, it's, if, it's, if, you can, if you can if you can imagine, Knut does not watch CNN. Oh. No. So so who No, I haven't is watched the, TV Don... in like decades. So Don Lemon is like this TV personality. I mean, uh, you know Tucker Carlson. Yeah, I know Tucker Carlson. So yeah, imagine retarded. Yeah. Tucker Carlson. Yeah. 
Well, more, I, I more, wouldn't... like a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the problem. <laughs> The yeah, problem, I can imagine. Yeah, the problem is with the Don Lemon uh, raised to prominence by like every show, like makes it about some controversial topic, and he jumps on it and makes it worse. And it's 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 like people uh, people can't avert their gaze from train wrecks. Like if you're good at creating train wrecks, you're going to get a lot of attention. And it's like reality TV shows. It's almost like, yeah, why should I go to zoo? I can just watch this on my TV. <laughs> like, that's what it is. But uh, it goes towards what cypherpunks are saying. Like, there will be all kinds of information. There will be, like, all kinds of information manipulators that are going to yep. ride trends. And the problem is that they're going to gain your attention they're going to like suck your intention. They're going to profit yeah. off of your uh, attention and you will be like left empty, exploited, uh, reprogrammed to, to be upset. Like that's what Don Lemon did is like, he literally programmed uh, millions and millions of people into way of thinking through his shows to be like upset and triggered about some stuff. And then you look at him especially his interview with Elon where it's terrible. Like you're a terrible human being. Like no one should be like you. And you just, yeah, played off of the CNN's like viewership. Yeah. Luckily, yeah, CNN viewership is now going down and we are going through alternatives. Like people are still on X, Twitter, and hopefully on Oster. Yeah. Where yeah. Noster numbers are going up. FFS numbers are going up. And luckily we are totally un uncontroversial and have uh, no agenda whatsoever. Oh, well, th listen, everyone, uh, everyone listening to this podcast is like, okay, we are programming you as well, but hopefully we are deprogramming. I would say. Yeah. Maybe like we're deprogramming you from, uh, like the whole group communist thing, but we are programming you towards individual, like your freedom, individual freedom think. Increase your freedom There's, footprint. That's yes. what we try to do. Yes, but Urge that's, people to do. But that's where I would say like, you do not get to not be programmed. You just find the best programming for you. Yeah. Go, going back... To what you're saying, yeah, like, yeah, why yeah. are people like uh, Jewish or Christian or this or that? American like, or Russian or whatever? It's, it's one type of programming that's best possible in that situation. But yeah. we need to go beyond that. Exactly. As we are now, especially getting technology to go beyond that. Yeah. And let, yeah, let us just go in that direction. Yeah, and Bitcoin maximalism is the best firmware. Like, oh, there, there we go. go. Yeah, that, like, yes. That's it? That's yes. what... Install that one and... If yeah. it's anything else, we call you a shit coiner. We, your reputation is destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or even a retard. Yeah. Uh, okay. Even though that's well, that's more of a compliment, I, I would say we call you an NPC, no, 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 no. NPC, and uh, no, like middle belt curve. When I said Don Lemon is a retard, like I mean it. Like he, yeah, he's like literally. Mm. Yeah, okay. he doesn't. He doesn't even understand. You his know own that the, the word "retard" is not at all as offensive in Europe as it is in the U.S. Oh right? man, I I am uh, I'm well aware, but I always when I'm when I'm uh, threatened with being canceled, I'm like, okay, I'm I'm an immigrant. I yeah, in yeah, U.S. Yeah, yeah. and I don't mean no nothing. I mean, yeah. No, it. We're we're now there are like many topics. You know nothing, that Uncle, Uncle Snow. Like Uncle. you're giving away more information about yourself than you need to. You're, per, you're mean, perfect American English. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to, to tell. No. Never, never. Yeah, I. It's man. It's been so disappointing. I must say, like I, American culture. Whatever people say uh, about the Americans, especially they're oh Americans are stupid. I'm like no, they they're practical. They, they don't care about other stuff, but whatever people say about the American culture, like you can't argue with Rambo and Terminator movies. No, and, Die Hard. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then like uh, Rolling Stones and like all the good bands. and Rolling Stones are British, though. So, but... Well, fuck. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Uh, but 
No, like I'm trying to find out what is the American music of uh, like 1970s. Nickelback. This. I I gotta you gotta you gotta collaborate with me here, but uh, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Bruce This Springsteen. One. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Yeah. Mm. No, but American culture. Prince. Uh, Prince. Yeah. Elvis. Yes. Elvis? I'm not, Elvis? Are we hitting 70s? Elvis? I don't think we're hitting 70s at all. Well, though. I mean, you can go 80s, you can go 90s, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, but I, I think well, like well, well, American bon, bon Jovi, Bon Jovi, Bruce Springsteen, yeah. Motley Crue. American culture, like in, uh, well, since 2000s, I, I don't want to invoke like any specific dates because it's like so emotional for a lot of people, but I think like the last, especially 10 years, I mean like so terrible. And me as, as immigrant to us, like I was really like, especially Terminator. I love the movie. Yeah. Like I, I was, yeah, I'm going to go to us. I'll go to like cinema. I'll uh, enjoy it. Like, like, you know, American dream like that, that, that bit, oh, you go to America, you like self-actualize, you become rich. You, you do plastic surgery. Yeah. Like I actually, I need to do that. Yeah. I did, did most, yeah, all of it before. But I, I imagine all of that. I immigrate to U.S. and it's like, no, if you say this thing, you're canceled. Yeah. In the, right. in the in the latest Terminator, the Terminator is trans, and you have to use pronouns. Yeah, it's it's like I'll be black. Well, <laughs> man, you're just having bangers on this show. Like like that. <laughs> like you're crushing it. Inspired by Uncle, but no, it's the whole thing. Like immigrate, immigrate to U.S. and it's like, oh, you're a white male. Oh, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've had to fill out that form. It's like, so yeah. are you Caucasian or black or what? What the fuck are you talking about? Why do you need this information? And like, they actually there are like laws where they need to know your race to ensure. No, I don't not have a racist. race. I'm a human being. Like, no, fuck no, no, you. no, no, no. Like, Listen, they're collecting that data so that they ensure they're not racist it's it's like they need to be racist in order to no, not no, no, to be no, racist no anti racist you you have like this is it's just two sides of the same problem like not being racist is not caring about race that's no. the, literally what not being racist is so as no. soon as you start caring what fucking race people are you're a fucking racist it's as simple as that and we were so close to that point in like late 90s people really yeah. didn't give a shit kids don't give a shit And now we're now we're back to racism. It seems everyone cares. Oh. So, sorry, Knut. I yeah. mean, you, you know the whole thing. Like uh, you just put anti in front of it. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, it's like it becomes you, this you, you're flip like side of the coin. It's like you're Antifa. You can't be fascist. Like so. And the the truth is that it's just flip. the other the flip side of fascism. It's another type of fascism. No, no, no. Yeah. They they're anti fascist. Like they're yeah. they're Antifa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's worse than yeah. fascism. Yeah, Man, fascism no. might have some good points compared to Antifa. Yeah, <laughs> like like what? Fashion, how about fashion? There was a joke. How about fashionista ism? We'll get Svetsy to come back and yeah, explain yeah, that and, one. Yeah, and think. Yeah, we'll we'll interview him about uh, fashion uh, and what's in fashion. At no, the no, uh, listen. Now he's trying to repair your joke. It's it's so fun. I'm allowed, I'm allowed to go a little too far every once in a while, considering Knud does it all the time. Like far left? I or, never go too far. Yeah, yeah. Or far right? Where are you going? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, far left. No, uh, let's better, go far left. I'd rather go far right than far wrong. Let's just call it that. That's, that's a good joke, actually. That's a pretty good one. So, uh, so Noster. Yeah. Yeah, Noster. <laughs> Where were we? Where were we? Noster. Get on Noster. Yes. Yeah. All the fascists are already there. Yeah. <laughs> They will tell you about the good points of fascism. Oh my God, this, we're but, like, but, we're just having the greatest jokes because like, this actually yeah, is very relevant. The worst but, pitch for Not Noster though, the, which everyone keeps regurgitating is that, oh, it's so good because everyone's friendly and there's no drama. I mean, that's why I'm on Twitter in the uh, first yeah, place. Yeah, like, yeah, what, like what, what do you mean no drama? What am I going to do with a social network? If, the, if, the, if no one's wrong on the internet, what's the point? Like, uh, Hi, Giacomo. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Hi, Giacomo. Hi, Giacomo. No, I, uh, but there are Noster dramas. They're like, uh, and trans when everyone is a uh, Dan. 
Yeah, you a saw Dan? it. Yeah, Dan, you you missed that. Or Fiat Jeff. Yeah, there is now Fiat yeah, yeah, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know Jeff doesn't want to talk about his current predicament, so I'll no. avoid it. Um, but with Dan, uh, there was this moment where uh, who who mentioned? I I think it was Semisol. He mentioned like how there are like so many Dan's on there. Oh yeah, and yeah. then. Uh, Gigi brought in uh, his idea that there should be only Dan's <laughs> relay where only Dan's have access to post. All of this. Yeah, and and then Jack Dorsey just renamed him to Dan, and everyone jumped on the trend, and everyone was a Dan on uh, oh. on Oster, which which is already like. Tagging on Noster in most clients is completely broken. Like you can't add to that anyone. Like there are so many terrible results. And then when everyone is Dan, yeah, good good luck with. Have you heard of the the anyone. the international Bob convention in in California? Apparently, oh. there's a gathering of all the Bobs in the U.S. We should do that for Benz in Bitcoin. Yeah, we should. I think they already do. They have T-shirts and stuff, but. The bobs, like it's 40,000 bobs in one spot. Imagine losing your friend there and trying to go, hey, Bob, and like. Well, I, I actually have a solution for that. I have a friend. A Bob, Bob thing. Yeah, yeah, Bob thing. I, I'm a big uh, Bob fan, especially after Strike, because we had this guy, Bob Scully. But Sh show, show Bobs. Yeah, yeah. But, but here is the thing. Like his name is something like. He's like, hey, I'm Bob. It's like the, the craziest thing because it's such a simple name. It's like, hi, Bob. It's like a homeless person that's getting like the, yeah. the check, like dumb, dumb check. Yeah. <laughs> the bum, bum check. And bum, bum check. Yeah. Yes. So it's like, hi, Bob. Can you get the check between your bobs? Like, <laughs> that's where I Man, usually put them. I, I can't wait to see what's the title of this show. Like, we had too much fun, like, in jokes. And it's, like, some jokes were really good, but getting yeah. to the, now it's a joke on Bob. His real name was, like, Robert uh, J. Like, Scully III. But it's like, hey, I'm Bob. And, uh, yeah. So, if I go to a Bob convention and need to find him, I would just be like, Robert uh, III. And, yeah, he would answer. Yeah, yep. but you can use people's last names, guys. Uh, oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, never thought of that. Yeah. Huh. So why is anonymity important? No, man, we need to finish all the dance in Austin. For the fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're in the middle of something here, man. No, no, no. Stop uh, interrupting. Uh, uh, <laughs> then we need to, then we need to repair the joke. Yeah. Yeah. Will, will it keep that? Like, will we'll use a segue to no. no, it's like, boom. Mm -hmm. I t we'll probably cut out the whole episode, to be honest. Just for private collection. Yeah, yeah. Because this that's, is... that's why anonymity is really, like, important. Because some knowledge is too great to be, like, publicly disseminated and, and like, broadcasted. Yeah. So... You need to consume it in a certain setting, in a certain context, and, and only then can you truly enjoy it. Especially if it becomes something you like repeat, repeat. And then every time you you consume it, you find the new things to to like about it. And yeah, I I think that's why anonymity, no, no, I'm expanding, but honestly, like, that's why I think anonymity and uh, Nostra are so important is because it allows you to easily do what I'm doing in, in my Bitcoin uh, appearance. Like I have a whole identity. No, you're, you're, you're a superhero and you need to stay anonymous because you're a superhero. That's, that's well, what I thought. Like, I mean, you have superpowers. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, do... I do have superpowers, which we'll talk like uh, without this recording. This is a superpower. Yeah, isn't see it? Yeah. all my my gadgets. Yeah, yeah. But Utility it's more belt. about like I'm not doing it for any yeah of of this. I'm doing it to keep my private life separate because I found that that's really useful. 
Yeah. Like this, this society is crazy enough and it's forcing you to be so many things, but you, you, you can't be that many things. Like we're already living way too fast. Like humans are not meant in my view for, for this speed of life and what, like, this is where we should let machines take over and do things for us. And we should like relax, enjoy life, not, not like be doing having experiences based on, oh, I'm going to pay you a hundred dollars or thousand dollars, but we're going to have experiences together based on the reputation. So that's where I think we should go as humanity with like, but let machines do the work. But for, for us, like I found that having a separate identity really allows me to better do that because you're not the same person when you're uh, with your family, when you're at business, when you're at church, you're like different kind of person. And you're like integrating. The, does this, is the speed of life, does that have a limit? Just like the speed of light? Like speed of light. I, I think it does. Like, again, we're talking about that, uh, flight attendant that's trying to get you to put mask on Yeah, is uh, being forced. Like we're all in my view being forced to live way faster than we would like naturally live. And, uh, I, I don't know what's the point where, where like people are already breaking, people are already rioting, they're rebelling, but they don't know like in which direction to go. And it, maybe that's the, that's the root cause is like, you're forced to live too fast. I think it's highly subjective though. I think. Many th people like to live fast. Uh, yes, I including bet. myself. I like yes. uh, like. Uh, well, who, what like... was that quote? I I burned the candle at both ends because it gave off such a beautiful light. And like, like there's something to that to living life to the full extent, and sure. and just just uh, step on the gas and just live, because there's what's oh. the alternative? Like being being a vegetable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there is only like being a vegetable or burning the. <laughs> no, no, there, there is a, there is there a is, like, well, hey, you, is, you, you is... want to do that for a week, you want to do that for a month, you want to do that for a year, like you know, come with Uncle to Serbia and uh, let's have our parties and. But that sounds I like a great idea. Yeah, yeah, but but it's about, okay, do you want that uh, for your family as well? No, not uh, yeah. necessarily. No. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, that's, no. That's I my know. point. You there, want there's something to like harmony and balance and stuff. Of course, of course there is. And you know, uh, as much as I'm, I am a fan of like Prince, for instance, who lived life to the fullest and then died an early death. I'm a fan of Bill Murray, who seems to not give a shit and like take it easy. Like. Uh, there, there. You have to find your own path of what what you like doing. No, that's the best thing about these artists, these uh, rock stars. Is that you look at someone and and you 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 can, you can like think about and see their path because. Uh, but you can you can see who who are the ones that really enjoy it and got it, and who are the ones that are literally possessed to express art. You know, because um, you look at Prince, like you, you can tell he wasn't yeah, yeah. Ha no. happy. Like, uh, what's the name of Amy, the British singer? The Winehouse, Winehouse. Yeah. Winehouse. You can see she's an expression of a lot of emotions, but she's not not happy. That, no, no, that, can... that song, what was it, Back in Black? That, that song is like, it, it's a simple song with a four chord structure, uh, four chord chord structure, and it's it's sort of a happy melody. But the lyrics are so fucking dark that, like, yeah. uh, I, I mean, uh, and I think there's something there with, with music in particular that when you have total darkness in balance with total, like, catchy, happy stuff. Uh, I, I mean, there's something yeah, it's a that... play. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, speaking of rock stars, there's... And the... I, can, I can tell you what, it, what that is based on Uncle Wisdom. You, you, you want to know? Yeah. It's like uh, a tree cannot grow to reach heaven unless its roots can grow to reach hell. Uh, yeah, uh, and, unless its roots are in literal shit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you you need that 
spirituality yeah. and uh that's that's where it comes from but but again like it, it's a question maybe you want to taste that yeah so yeah maybe but do you want to live in a nightmare like i no, can no, i can no. tell you from my experiences like like those nightmares uh and that's where identities are also very useful like like i can be that identity for for a month and i can then compress it in some kind of a private note to myself and reread it like really get that experience but i don't want to live in that experience i want when i go to my private life i want to you know take off the mask enjoy the sun i can sun other parts of my body as well yeah 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 the, the, so, so yeah you like should do fully, that fully fully like naked and yeah relaxing I'd I think a grow, uh, uh, most trees never reach the the heavens uh, like the the sky uh, uh, but they can reach the tree tops that's and that's good for them I think. Uh, yes but maybe it's because they they're not letting their true uh, roots you know yeah. grow, grow deeper yeah, maybe, like exploring maybe. the dark side yeah 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 fiddling down rabbit holes and yeah maybe maybe there's something there we won't talk about Noster sorry like it's a tease you have to explore Noster by yourselves, listeners. Yeah. Are we are we at a natural conclusion or what? I think we are. Rocks, I mean, yeah, yeah. One more thing, uh, while it's on my mind, there's a great website called What David Bowie Was Doing Your When He Was Your Age. If you want to feel bad about your life and that you're a loser, you can always look up what David Bowie was Canute doing. Perfectionist, L listen, man, you you are a rock star, so uh, oh, fantastic! You need to live with understanding that uh, the oh, rest excellent. of us we are not as perfect as you are. So, so everyone, yeah, listening yeah. to the show, you shouldn't try to be like no, try to be like me. You know, yeah, yeah, it's easy. You just buy Bro a hat buy a bandana like bitcoin and sunglasses and you can be a rock star so, yeah cope contributor yes. no core contributor yeah yeah cope cope contributor yeah. uncle rockstar it has been an absolute ple pleasure um you're welcome back on at any time and i think we should do this more often yeah okay uncle times i'm looking forward to them take care man uncle rockstar thanks so much this has been the Freedom Footprint Show. Thanks for listening.